Okay, so I wanted to show you that my clutter is there, um, but I will get around to it. And, you know, for those of us that have gone through that and that um, haven't been able to sort things out, it at some point it feels like you have a load of weight on your shoulders. So once you start decluttering or organizing or putting things and making things look neat, that won't last me because then I'll do the same thing again. So it's sad, but that's how, how it happens. Anyone that does any kind of art when it comes to sewing, painting, you know, even people that do uh, their office work, it's always going to be a clutter at some point. And it's not until you declutter or you get work done that you feel like your shoulders are, you know, lighter. Um, but that doesn't mean that I get, you know, like I don't stop doing my work because of it. No, I continue to do my work and I try to ignore it. But then it comes to a point where, okay, I need to do this to be able to do that. Um, so right now that's where I'm at. That's why I haven't focused on anything else. I do not need to focus or put more pressure on my head or on my shoulders that I need to do this to satisfy that. Mm -mm. So, um, yeah, just, you know, know that one of the reasons why I haven't done a lot is because I need to really, really go through the steps and declutter and one of the one of those steps of decluttering and, and you know, for me is getting to those um, projects that I had ready sitting to for me to do and get to it. Um, I did complete it four of them so every day I try to do you know two to four uh, projects so that by the end of the year I'm done I'm completed and then during the weekend I try to go through a group of things that I need to do. At some point um, I used to do like a whole area and it's just I couldn't get to it so now I, I'm doing, you know, small spaces so that this way I can get it out of the way. Um, my only downfall is that I do have stuff I need to get rid of and I find it difficult to part from it. But starting last month, I started to like not look at it that way. So it's been easier. If you're there, just think about the, what that, Think about that's holding you back from the things you want to do because it's just putting weight on your shoulders. So, you know, get get rid of it, sell it, you know, or gift it, whatever makes you happier. Or if you need the money, then just sell it. But don't sell it to a point where you're going to make, make it as a business. Sell it at a point where you're getting the money back you invested on it if you can, you know, which I think you can. Um, and with that said, if that's something that you want to do, that you want to like re, you know, get your money back because just parting from it by giving it to anybody is not a good thing for you or you're just in the need of money, you know, then I say go and join um, some of those Facebook groups where you can declutter your, your sewing room and sell it to others that would want to buy from you. Um, and then that way you you will be able to get some of that money back that from what you invested on that one item or on those items. And that's what I've been doing. Like, if you can see, can you guys see this right here? That right there that I'm pointing at? It looks like I'm touching it, but I'm not. Those are sewing patterns that I no longer use and I won't have any use of it. So I decided to go and sell them on um, um, pattern um, the stashing, I believe, U.S. Pattern Destashing or Pattern Destashing USA, something like that. Um, I'll leave the link down below. I also uh, go on So It's For Sale to sell books, um, any sewing items that I no longer use or that I bought maybe at a point thinking I would use it and I never did use it, but it's just sitting there, then I need to get rid of it. Um, if you're not using it regularly, um, or at least a couple times a year and it's just sitting there you need to get rid of it because you'll never use it again um, or you'll never use it period so I do that I do those two mainly for the sewing patterns and so it's for sale for everything else like um, fabric sewing items and books sewing books and it doesn't have to be just sewing books and so it's for sale it could be anything that has to do in the sewing department or crocheting, kneading, kneading needles, um, stuff for the sewing machine, presser feet, 
um, fabric you're not using, you know, um, what else, uh, trims, elastic, you know, things like that, lace, stuff that you know you're not using or that you used at some point and then you have a big leftover load then you want to get rid of it, then that's where you want to sell it. Just, um, the big thing about that is you have to have a PayPal account because those sites only sell through PayPal, which is the safest way to do it. Um, unless you want to do Facebook market. I, I don't do Facebook market, so I can't really give you information about that, but I, I know that people do it. I do do um, PayPal. So whenever I know, you know, like now that I'm getting prepared to do that, then that's how I do it um, through PayPal. Um, and you do, why do you need to do that? You need a cam, you need your phone because you need the phone to take cameras of the items you're selling. Um, you need to have a PayPal account and you need to have the time to do it. So make the time to do it whenever that is. Um, and of course you need to join those groups and wait till you're approved. They normally approve you within 24 hours. So it's a cool thing to do. Um, I don't do Etsy, I don't do eBay because it's not a business. I'm just trying to get rid of stuff I no longer need. And so that is a cool, those are cool groups because it's, I don't do it as a business. I do it because I need to get rid of things. So from time to time, I gather stuff that I'm not going to use any longer. So I will sell it through there and then get my money back. And then I can use that money to reinvest on things that I am using literally every day such as thread needles for the sewing machine cutting you know tools um, measuring tools or maybe any other notion that i'm not talking about that maybe you know that i have to use but mainly you know that's what i do that's what i'm planning on doing um if you see these boxes right here those are a bunch of patterns all of these right here those are sewing patterns so i had to cater i had to make um like categorize it through you know um through the styles like let's let's say i have a box that is just for the 80s a box that's just the 90s and so on and so forth um i do have more patterns but i'm not gonna go into that um i can tell you that this right here is you only see this bunch but there's more under it there's another box under it if you see it right here, that's another box. It's full of patterns that I need to get rid of. So this section right here is actually um, this on top, this right here, and the patterns right here. All that will be sold through those two sites that I talked to you about. So in case you need to do that, then that's something you will need to do. It is a US um, site. So if you're not in the United States, then there are other sites that you can find, or I mean, not sites, but groups, groups, Facebook groups that you can find within your area where you can sell your stuff and get your money back um, so you can reinvest on something else. Um, I am trying to save to get me um, some other stuff that I need for my sewings. Um, one of the things that I need is one of the sewing machines that I would like to buy in the future is a zigzag industrial machine. So I'm saving on that, so I figure, okay, if I get rid of that, then I can use that money to get me that sewing machine that I will be using. But I'm not breaking my bank, and I'm not in a big rush. I'm just trying to get this room settled because I want to be making videos and sewing and not make that place look all cluttered up. And, and, and at the same time, I just feel like I have way too much. So the thing is, because I'm going to be using sewing patterns and drafting and self -draft, drafting patterns I have to have certain fabrics and certain amount of fabrics to be showing you you know what I'm doing so with that said thank you again for watching my name is Estella this is Leonesa Sanica. please join my Facebook group it's so classy and creative I will leave you the link below I will also leave you the links for so it's for sale and sewing pattern and destashing sewing pattern destashing usa um so you guys can look into that um and again thank you and i will see you guys next time i hope this video was really helpful give it a thumbs up click the bell like it share it and subscribe i think i even said too much all right bye bye